Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 4 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a function and the three parts to a function being the function prototype, uh, calling a function, and defining a function. So if you've watched my last video um, I explained that this main is a function, so it's the main function and basically it's a container for all this code that's inside of it. So it's basically just a big storage container for a lot of code. So in when we have when we make we can also make uh, different functions within this. We don't have to just have this one main function and then a lot of code. We can make multiple functions uh, inside our program. So we're going to start out void and let's say I want to print a message to the console. Let's we'll say print message. And so you're probably wondering, well, what's void? Void basically means that it has a no return type. Or sorry, void is a return type, and it just means you don't return anything. So for example, here we have int main, and that means it's going to return something. So in this case, it returns an integer of zero and that's what int stands for. So this is known as the return type, the thing that's out front. So void print message and then I'm going to make parameters and it's going to say void inside of it and basically that means that it's not going to take in any information either. So all you, when you call it, it's just going to do whatever is inside of this method. So again, this is the return type, so it will not return any information back into the main which calls it. So it will just run, do whatever it says to do, and that will be it. So this will make a lot more sense when we're done. Just bear with. So now if I go to call this function and just say print message like that, and semicolon at the end, and that is all you have to do to actually call the function with inside the main uh, function here. So if I run this, I'm going to get an error message saying basically that uh, the print message hasn't been defined. And that's right here, print message reference, basically saying it doesn't know what to do because I haven't told it what to do. So now for the last part of making a function, you have to define it. So you just repeat exactly what you did up here. So void print message. Oops. Uh, I'm surprised it's not showing up. But print message. Oops. Void. And then now, like this function here, at the end, you can see we have a left bracket. So if I go like that. I get my left bracket and my right one. And now I can define what's inside this method. So since it's a print message method, I'm just going to say, um, just to let you know, I'm going to switch between function and method because um, different languages use different things, meaning exactly the same thing. So if I ever say method, it's the same thing as a function. So in this function, um, we're going to just do a print f statement and message saying this is another function and so now when we go to run this what it's going to go through it's going to print this hello world and then right right after it prints that it's going to go to the print message and say oh where's print message so it's going to go all the way down here and execute the code in print message so here's your example hello world this is another function so as you can see that's how that works now you might be kind of wondering well why do we need to make a function why can't I just put this printf statement in here and instead of making all this extra random code well um, the reasons this is a fairly um, it's not the best example um, usually if you make a function it has a little more purpose than just printing a message usually it'll do a lot of different things for example, if you um, want to do something uh, more com like extremely complicated, then you can just define it all once, and then you just call it anywhere else. You can call it as many times as you want. So, for example, if I want to print this message uh, three times, oops, crap, wrong button. 
if I just hit print message, then I can print this three times. So save, and it, as you can see, it prints or it runs this method three times. So that's basically functions. Um, there's not too much to know for right now. It will get a little more complicated as we start learning about return types. But as a general rule, um, it just starts with a function prototype. You define what your function is going to look like. Then you call the function in your method. And then you also have to define what the method or function does. So this has been Functions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel and check out more lessons or the old lessons that you missed. Alright, see ya.